Hi, welcome to Kativi 5 video tutorial. I want to do that connecting rod exercise in Kativi 5. Slightly different than the NX version because in this Kativi version I was not able to do the fillets here in the same way as in NX. I had to put the fillets into the sketch. But in all other respects, it's pretty much the same. So let's have fun with Kativi 5. Okay, first I need to insert some bodies. So go for insert body. I think three or four will do. Now let's make this one the active one and insert some planes. So this should have a distance of, make this one locked, of 7. 50. I need another one here. That distance might be 30. And another one over there as well. So go for minus 30. And one with a distance to this one. And that should be 95 divided by 2. So I got my planes. Next, the sketch on the YZ plane. Hide as usual those elements. I need a rectangle. Like that. This should be an axis. And of course, I don't want to use those parallel constraints, so I will delete them. Now let's give this a diameter of 45 and this should be coincident, that one here coincident and this one over there Coincident. Leave that sketch and make a shaft or revolve with that sketch. Yes, 360 degrees. Yes, and confirm. Next sketch on the same plane. Hide another rectangle. Let's hide. No, not hide, but delete those parallel constraints. And of course, this one, sorry, this one should be an axis. Now add some dimensions. This should be a diameter of 110. And that distance might be 61 or should be 61. And that length should be 135 minus 40. Now arrange those two coincident. Leave that sketch. Make another shaft. 360 degrees and OK. Another sketch. Same plane as before. Hide. Another rectangle over here. This one should be an axis. And of course, I don't want to use those parallel constraints. Therefore, I will delete them. This should be another diameter. Again, 110. That distance here, and that 
that direction should be 105 and in the other direction as well and that one should be aligned with that axis coincident leave that sketch another shaft and confirm I need fillets in NX I could do the fillets but in my KT version it's not possible to do it with fillets it will not work and if it works you will not get that 135 distance from that axis to that end of the fillet so you have to go and put it into the sketch so let's go to the sketch that's sketch 2 and this should be an arc which goes up with radius 40 and then goes into an arc with radius 10 but I could do of course the radius 10 in 3d I need here the 40 arc so how to get this let's draw a circle with radius 40 diameter would be 80 and let's dimension it this should be 45 divided by 2 like this and let's move this over here okay like that so that point should be aligned with this one coincident and that would be this this 40 arc let's go for a trim Let's come on like this, and that should do the trick. And now I could do a 10 millimeter radius here. So go for this edge and go for 10 millimeters. And I need another one here, and this should be 55. Okay. same problem here I have to go to the sketch and I do it the same way I need the circle with 40 millimeter radius or 80 in diameter put this point onto that line now that's already snapped so it need only that distance from this point to that axis which should be the same as before 45 divided by 2 let's trim and leave that sketch and again I could make now the 65 hopefully let's see if this works otherwise I have to go for the sketch once more and the object to fill it would be this edge yeah this works now over here I have to do it in a different way so let's split the body so go for 
Where's my split tool? There you go. Split with this plane. Turn it around. Okay. Split once more. Select this one. That's okay. And confirm. So see, this seems to be a bit, little bit too small, and this seems to be too big. So let's check the values in the sketch. If you measure it like this, this should be 135. And leave that sketch. That's more like it. Now I need a sketch on the, let's hide those planes on the y's, x, y plane. So let's go for position one. That would be on this one and h and v. Yeah, that's okay. Hide these. Go for the sketch. Go there. Hide these. And I need a circle. And the diameter should be in that direction. So it's 55. That will be 110 in diameter. And I will need a rectangle. Without those parallel constraints. Let's see if this snapped already. No, it didn't. This happens. So this should be right at that one. And of course, this point should be aligned with that axis. And those two should be symmetric to this axis. Okay. Then I need to trim, or I could give this some dimensions as well. Doesn't really matter. I could go for 150, and that could be. 100 doesn't really matter and let's see I need to see my planes okay let's trim this should be removed that should be removed here And now that profile should have a certain distance from this one. And that distance would be 105 from here. So you could, no, sorry, it was still selected. So from this plane to that tangent point, it should be 105 like this. Let's see it's an, still not fully constrained because yeah this needs to be aligned maybe like this. No come on. So that line and this plane should be parallel. I will need an axis to rotate, so go for an axis, draw one right here, constrain it, maybe 500, doesn't really matter, 
and the distance from here to that plane should be 60 and make it symmetric to that y-axis and it should be full constraint. Now let's leave that sketch and I want to make a groove. So that would be the groove with that sketch, yes, but not complete, not a complete 360 degrees, but maybe 30 to one side and 30 to the other side. That should do the trick, yes, and confirm. Quite nice. Now I could hide this body. Not like this. Okay, hide. And let's make another body, make it active. And this should be done by a sketch on the Y set plane. Hide. And this will be a circle. Diameter is 70. And this point should be coincident on this axis and that axis as well. Now I need a rectangle. Get rid of those parallel constraints. And add a dimension here. And this would be 45. And the distance from that line to this axis should be 55. And of course it should be symmetric to that axis here. Now I could trim. Okay, and make an extrude. And that would be a mirrored one, so mirrored extend. And let's go for, it's 60, so let's go for 80. I can make it bigger than it needs to be. Okay, now let's hide this body, go to the next one, make it active. And that one should be driven by a sketch on the XY plane. Hide these. I need a rectangle. Don't want to use these. And add some constraints. This should be symmetric to the y-axis. That distance should be 44. Forty-four. And this dimension should be 30. And the distance from this line to that axis should be 56 minus 20, that's 36. Leave that sketch, make an extrude, make it mirrored more than 110, so let's go for 120 or let's say 70 in both directions. And OK, let's do a 3 tangent fillet. This phase, 
that face and this should be removed okay now I need to go to my next body and that will be a sketch on that plane here this should be a circle so let's hide those go for a circle diameter would be 45 this point should be right on that axis coincident and the distance from this point to that axis should be 56 yeah confirm and let's make an extrude with that sketch and let's go for this might be Uh, let's say 30 yeah like this now I want to mirror that pad oh that's the wrong pad that's the right pad so I want to mirror this pad with that and okay now let's bring back this body as well now I could add those together or just subtract them from this body so make this visible or first I could assemble them now uh, let's add them together Mer uh, pattern it and then remove it that would be appropriate yeah so let's add those two to this one where's my boolean operation there you go I want to add and that I have to because it's KT I have to select them beforehand to body 3 and OK so this should be one body yeah now I could of course pattern that body so go for a linear or rectangular pattern I want to put on the current solid yes two instances yes and the spacing would be 750 and the direction would be the y-axis like this and confirm well maybe make those two in a different color so make these magenta bring back that body now I want to remove this one from that one so go for remove remove body 3 from body 2 and confirm looks good now I need let's open this I need to make a hole here and there and I will do that yeah in this body so it should be the active one make sure it's the active one and you could do it with a point and direction so we'll go for a point and that point should be at set Fifty five X should be zero, Y should be zero, and okay. Now I could maybe hide there, yeah, not not yet. So let's go select the point. Okay, go for the whole tool, select the surface, and the diameter should be eight. 
blind no it should go up to next type should be simple that's okay and confirm yep and i need to pattern this so select it that's the hole go for a pattern to 750 that's okay and the direction is again the y-axis and keep specifications that's important and okay and i should be done so hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. And just noted there is one thing missing here. So let's go before. Let's make this the active one. Active, active for the split. After that split, after the split, yes, go there and add the fillet here and the fillet now. That's wrong. After the groove, after the groove, yeah, and add a 10 millimeter fillet on those two edges here and here as well yeah now i'm done if i make this body the active one yeah so thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye